Hey what's up guys, it's Laura. Um, just wanted to quick catch up really. So you're still in my temporary kind of filming area. Um, I still haven't finished my bedroom, taking off the paint off the walls. Um, so you're kind of balanced on the chair and I'm balanced on the pile of cushions. So if either one of us, so you or I, fall off, I apologise in advance. Um, so basically I've been feeling really tired, um, trying to get this room done before my husband comes back which is like forever. Um, I managed to get half a wall stripped of paint uh, yeah, the other day, um, so that's as far as I've got so far because I've been so busy with work. Anyway work yesterday was absolutely horrendous, today it was fine. Um, I mean you, you're going to get good days and bad days wherever you work so it's not really because of my job. It was just like one of those days. Traffic was horrendous yesterday. It wasn't so bad today. However, when I was driving home, I forgot that it was the naked bike ride. So every year in Brighton, there's like a naked bike ride. There's about a thousand men and about a small handful of women and they all ride naked. Um, so I'm just like driving along and there's suddenly like loads of bull sacks. I'm like, what? And some of them are on the communal like rent -a bike things. That's kind of unsanitary. I think, but each to their own, you know, I don't have a problem with it, it's just kind of like, oh, you forget that it's there and you just don't know where to look, you're like, oh my god, balls and penises everywhere, I should kind of be used to that with my job, but you know, whatever, um, so I kind of googled it to see what it was about, like if there was anything really, no, but Having said that, local newspaper article has this line in it. The peloton of penises made its way from the level to the pier. That's terrible. A peloton of penises. Right. What about the people who don't have penises, man? Like, <clears throat> um, anyway, I just wanted to have a chat. Um, I've been feeling really kind of not depressed I'm not depressed but my depression is severely affecting me so I wouldn't say I was like depressed but I'm feeling kind of burnt out so last week I had like tonsillitis um this week I'm feeling a bit meh I probably should have had more days off work but I kind of felt really bad for my colleagues so I kind of went back a bit too early um I always do that I still feel a bit eh groggy. I'd given it to everyone else as well so that's a bit shit. So sorry guys but I didn't mean to. Um, it's one of those things that like catch-22 situation you either go to work and give it to everyone or you don't go to work and everyone's struggling um, and I had a really bad day yesterday. I was like really stressed like so many people to see but today like was fine. It's just one of those things every single job has its good days and bad days so you can't really complain. Um, really um, from day to day um, it's good to be busy anyway because the day goes quicker but yes yeah, so it's just like I'm so dead I'm so dead and I got and I, I went to like Waitrose and I bought like an entire packet two packets of biscuits actually I have one pack that I've nearly finished which is Reese's Rounds and they're very and I've been watching like shows about secret sugars and fats and foods and I'm like well I know that there's sugar and fat in this food, but I've never eaten them all, and they're really good. Peanut butter. Peanut butter in anything just gets me. Like Reese's. I think I sold my soul to them. Sorry. I think I did. This is not sponsored, by the way. Just say that, because I'm not cool enough to be sponsored. Hey. <laughs> um. <coughs> I just choked my own spit. Um. But no, um, I have incense on and I'm just like, hey Viva. I just had a nice bath to try and relax and I thought maybe I should wash my hair. But my hair washing is a bit of a palaver because I have very long hair down to my bum and it's also curly. And it's also fine but thick. If that makes sense. So my actual hairs are fine, but I have a lot of hair. So I have um, 
I didn't wash my hair. I didn't really need to. I don't really need to. I just thought because I was having a bath tonight that I would wash my hair. Because normally, like, it's a bit of a ball lake to wash my hair in the shower. But, um, you have to wash it with cold water. So I kind of like to have a bath afterwards. But, never mind. It's just, I want to go to bed early. It's like half eight. And I just wanted to go to bed early and chill. Um, probably read for a bit. But I just didn't, couldn't really deal with the whole two hour long wait, four hour long wait to dry my hair, which it takes forever. So I'll probably wash it tomorrow after work because I have a day off Tuesday. Um, Martin comes home on Thursday morning. He is still in the Middle East at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about staying healthy. And this is one of the points I wanted to make in this video. Staying healthy when you have depression. So depression obviously is a disease. It's a bit like, I kind of see it a bit like a, well, I mean it is a physical illness because it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. Um, but I kind of see it as a uh, physical illness, a bit like diabetes. So you can manage it with uh, diet and lifestyle. Or you have to take medication. So me personally, I have to take medication. Um, I did have Cetergram and now I'm on Sertraline. Um, That's a long story uh, because I basically thought I was good enough to come off of my Cetergram and then I had a bit of a meltdown in December and was a bit... I mean like I'm going to be 30 this year and I still don't have children. I, I mean, I'm not that keen on having kids, but my husband wants them, so... It's one of those things that you kind of start to think about at my age. Or at least you've already been thinking about it for a while. I'm kind of a late player. <laughs> so, I'm starting to think about that. <clears throat> and, um, so Tanabram is not very good for pregnancy. Um, so, I said this to the doctor, and I was really annoyed. The doctor was like, oh, well, I don't think you should be thinking about having a family when your mental health is not good and I was like like no I'm not thinking about having a family at the moment but why should I just I'm like I understood like as a medical professional I understood where she was coming from but at the same time I found it really offensive and really patronizing so it's kind of like a wake-up call to as a medical professional that in my work that I have to be not patronizing I've only been, been accused of being patronising once, and I don't think I was being patronising. Uh, the other member of staff that was with me didn't think I was, so it's kind of like... It, it's kind of like how you click with some people and not with others. It's, it's kind of like really... Um, it's difficult. It's a minefield out there in the world of medicine. Um, so anyway, I went on to Sertraline, not Sertraline, Sertraline now, and I am doing well on Sertraline. Um, but I am feeling, like, if I wasn't on Sertraline right now, I probably would be in the pit, like, the bottom of the trough of depression at the moment. Um, I am feeling kind of, like, slow-like, and I'm sort of, like, grinding to a halt. I feel like the Tin Man that hasn't been oiled for, like, a million years. Um, so I am not depressed, but I am feeling the physical symptoms of being depressed like I'm really tired all the time um need to sleep all the time and it's just kind of like I just feel like a sloth it's like I'm always in bed or wanting to be in bed or dreaming about my bed like in the morning like okay because I've got this pain in my hip um I don't want to get out of bed in the morning but I'm also wanting to go to bed really early in the evening um so tomorrow I it's Monday I've got this weird thing about date and time so I'm going to try it tomorrow morning to get my routine back. So I was, I set my Fitbit to ring, buzz at 6am every day. Um, even on the days when I don't have to get up at 6am. Um, and then I, I my alarm on my phone goes off at 6.30. So I've got half an hour's warning before I have to actually get out of bed. Um, that doesn't work for some people. For me it works quite well but <laughs> I've been finding that I've been like ticking my clock forward so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually get up at 6am and if I come back next time and say I need to get up at 6am, uh, somebody shoot me please. Um, 
So yeah, I am trying desperately to sort my sort of physical health out and also you guys know I don't actually I don't know if I told you because I haven't been blogging for ages. Um I have been trying the 5-2 diet and I completely fell off the end of the world with that. Just I had lost like quite a lot of weight, I'd lost like a stone and then I fell off the end of the world and I've gone like up about a quarter of a stone since so my face is thinner, I feel. <laughs> and somebody asked me today if I had a rash and I was like no I just get stressed and scratch my skin. I do that, it's called dermatillomania, just so you know. It's really annoying. I don't have a rash, I just have a rash in my brain I suppose. Um, it was kind of really annoying when people point it out but I don't think it was mal... I don't think it was mal intent. It was just, oh are you okay if you've got a rash and stuff. I'm just crazy, okay. Um, so also I wanted to say that as well as taking sertraline, now you must check with your doctor and your pharmacist if you're going to take supplements but I was advised to take these supplements because of uh, blood test results. So my blood test showed that I was really low in folic acid um, I actually had a miscarriage and um, part of one of the major components of pregnancy, one of the major like necessary things for pregnancy is folic acid. Um, I had a deficiency so I now take folic, folic acid supplement, oh, which you find in the women's health aisle, this is from Sainsbury's, fairly cheap, um, 91 a day tablets. Um, I still have like a month's worth I think. Uh, and then I also have vitamin D, so you know my hip's been hurting so I also had a vitamin D deficiency which is a vitamin that you get from the sunlight. Now it is summer and we should be getting like a bit more sunlight right now um, but I am an indoor creature and so I don't go out much so I take these as well. Um, and it has, it has actually, when I'm taking them regularly this is another thing, when I am depressed or in depressive like phases I don't tend to take my, my tablets very well. Um, I do always take my sertraline, but I never take my vitamins for some reason. Uh, I just kind of like long them off as something that's not as important, but it's still very important. Uh, so vitamin D, also by Sainsbury's. This is not sponsored by Sainsbury's. I also have uh, cod liver oil tablets, high strength. Um, that's also good for your joints because your joints are encapsulated in fluid and um, if you get dehydrated, which is another thing, dehydration and no um, fluid around your joints causes pain. So I'm trying to avoid pain the best way I can. Um, again, don't take my advice on medications, speak to a doctor or pharmacist first. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to keep myself healthy. doesn't help that I went and ate like two packets of biscuits yesterday. Um, I do try and keep healthy. I do have like occasional binges. Like I was saying, I did actually used to have a... Um, I did used to have a very mild eating disorder. And I kind of binge occasionally. Um, I've been on a bit of a bingey week. But I'm halfway through my cycle and my boobs hurt. Um, so I'm supposed to ovulate tomorrow apparently according to my app. So I use this app called Flow. And um, according to that tomorrow I'm ovulating. Um, so that's annoying. I hate being a girl sometimes. Actually I used to have like pretty bad gender issues when I was younger. Um, but that's a whole different video. Um, so yeah, I am trying to keep healthy, trying not to eat too many biscuits and drink too much Pepsi Max. The cherry flavour Pepsi Max and the ginger flavoured Pepsi Max kind of like is my vice, I'm afraid. I do try and be healthy but I think sometimes it's, it's just as important to look after your brain and like just eat and drink whatever you want for a little while. It's not gonna kill you like one week of eating shit food is not going to kill you so I kind of just let it go for a little while. I've decided that from tomorrow I'm going to try and um, be a little bit more healthy 
And now all my exams are finished and all of that, so I have done steps today. I have done 8,983 steps. I'm probably not going to reach my 10,000 steps today because I am going to sit and read my book after I've done this video um, and then go to bed. But I have walked to and from the shop, even though I didn't. I only bought something once. Walked to and from the shop twice today. Um, so I was trying to get my steps up. It's just uh, some days at work you don't really do that many steps. Um, so I'm kind of not that bothered. And I had to help out. One of my neighbours was really worried about their rabbit, and because I'm quite quite the expert on rabbits um no i'm not really but i did say i'm not an expert but i did have a look over her and i wasn't really worried but i did advise them to go to the vets tomorrow and they were like you look really pale and they waited to give me dinner and i was like no no it's fine i've got jack of a potato i've already pre-cooked something it's fine um but that was really sweet and really kind um so i'm really i'm like i love my neighbors i've got like such a little neighborly Enclave, it's nice. I like it. Is enclave the right word? I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> past the point. So, I've been rabbiting on for 16 minutes. Um, just wanted to show you the book I am reading. I these are my like bedtime books, not that I've read any of them at bedtime because I've always been reading something. Um, I have taken this out of the library. I can't remember if I showed it to you last time, but I'm reading Lirael, which is the sequel to Sabriel. Um, it's actually quite good. I'm getting into it now. I'm on chapter four. Uh, I've only had a chance to read this for about half an hour. Um, so I'm going to try and read that because I have to take it back on the 22nd. Also my other book that I have requested, which is the first of the Discworld novels, has come into the library. So I will read that as well. I will need to go and pick that up, but I'll go and do that on Tuesday um, and read this tonight as much as I can. I'm going to read probably until 10 so I've got an hour and 15 minutes to read and then um, I will go to sleep and chill and try and get my routine back tomorrow. So it's all good. I haven't heard from my husband. He's two hours ahead. But where's my phone even? I had to change phones because um, I chucked my phone on the floor. How do you do? Oh it's over here. I'm like, where's the phone? Like, so I chucked this one. Like, my music's playing on this. I broke the screen real bad. Um, this is a 32 gig iPod, iPod, iPhone, and this one's only um 16 gig, but it doesn't have a broken screen and it's fine. I just use that one as my music one because I don't want to cut my fingers by texting with a broken phone screen. Uh, yeah, I got my lovely husband as a photo on my phone. Um, how have I heard from him? He phoned me earlier, but he hasn't said goodnight. Normally he says goodnight when he's away. It's not real, it's not nice. What's happened to you? He was he was going to hang out with his parents in the bar, as you do. Um, so I assume he's gone to bed. But that's fine, because they're two hours ahead. He's got an early start in the morning. He's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, so yeah, I have kind of an easier week this week so I'm trying to get back into the routine kind of like my hair and it's kind of messy bun style kind of cool um, I'm really excited because one of my colleagues is coming back from long term leave tomorrow I'm really excited it's like their old team are back again yay um, oh it's uh, oh, oh oh I'm checking Facebook why am I doing that right uh, right we have a, like a local gossip page and then where was it Um, anyway, I digress. Oh, I, I wanted to show you guys something. My mum and dad um, basically found loads of my old toys in the loft at their house and they've given them back to me. So I've got loads of old teddies all down the side of my bed because my mattress is a normal double mattress and my bed's like a, um, a non-standard double bed from Ikea. It's actually an Ikea standard double mattress, but a non-standard... I, I don't know why I didn't buy the mattress to fit the bed. I actually, I've actually had two mattresses since I had this bed. So anyway, whatever. I digress. So this is one of my favourite teddies of all time from when I was a kid. I call it a puffer lump. Uh, I don't know why it was called puffer lump. Well, actually, I think it's because of the heifer lumps and weasels from Winnie the Pooh. Um, so this is puffer lump. 
it had to have a wash because it was a bit mouldy and horrible from being in the loft but it's been through the washing machine not worse for wear but this was one of my favourite heads when I was a kid um, it's actually kind of a cool teddy for a kid actually because it's kind of like waterproof and it's got this weird cool hairdo I kind of like weird things it's a bit like an elephant or a pig I'm not sure but it's a puffer lump puffer lump <laughs> my mum and dad were like when they came over like the day after they'd given me this stuff and I put it in the wash and it was like hanging on my washing line like over the bar like this and my mum was like has puffer lump been through the wash and it's got a hangover and I was like yeah because do you know the word hangover comes from um back in the days when in the Victorian slums there was like uh, you'd have like DOS houses uh, that's like houses for people that couldn't pay rent anywhere else are basically homeless people and they would have like a bar um, or like a rope and like a bench and they, you'd pay like a penny or whatever to sleep there and you'd just be hanging over this rope so that's why a hangover is called a hangover that's your useless fact of the day um, my incense is still going <laughs> Anyway, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to upload this now. I'm going to stop rabbiting on about nothing. Um, lovely to talk to you guys. I will be back soon. I am so glad that I have done more than one video in a week, uh, which is completely abnormal for me. Um, but yeah, I am feeling okay, but I'm just feeling a bit meh at the moment. So fingers crossed that... Um, I will just be on the up out of it soon. It's just summer. Summer, I get summer blues. I don't know why. I just do. Anyway, nice to speak to you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Cosmonaut. And I'm also on Facebook at Miss Cosmonaut. I think it's at Miss Cosmonaut. Um, I do use Twitter. I have got a Twitter. You can find it on my Facebook and Instagram. I don't use it very often. I just don't really get Twitter. It's not really for me. I don't have Snapchat, so don't even bother with that. See you later. Bye.